I'm out here in Kansas Genuine City. Genuine Alchemist in the building. Okay, I appreciate that drop. Genuine Alchemist, you heard Bill. Mm -hmm. Check out all of his stories, they dope. We in Kansas City, Missouri right now. Kansas City. We on the River Market. River Market. We all the way tapped in. We about six, five, or four or something. Okay. Boy, you would have been my two guard because I'd be playing point. You'd be the two, right? Okay, I'll be the, I oh, played the three. three. You played the three. I played the three because they would sleep on my dribble. I played. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you play we, big. Hey, look, we out here. I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to join the family Sunday fun day. I wanted to uh, uh, tap in with Bill, check yes, out my woman Tom. Make sure I appreciate you tag. the love. I will well, do. All right, man. Peace. I know that was great. That was great. <laughs> <laughs>
So I'm going to go back to our conversation last night. We talked about fame and and being upper echelon, having something that separates you from the masses, right? Having that that appeal, that aura. And we talked about, you know, getting celebrities on my channel at some point in time, uh, potentially, right? And we talked about how when I start to tick up, when we start to tick up, you'll see the hate. You'll see people around you that had nothing to do with the channel or the real estate or the car sales or the t-shirts. They'll start to come in and they want to make it make sense with you because you're going up. Well, I'm down at the river market with my family. Like I said, Sunday, fun day. We just left church. Uh, we had a good, great word out of Deuteronomy, all praise due to the most high. And we're coming out to enjoy some brunch. Now, mind you, I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory on this. I've been watching my man, uh, Bill Bellamy. He's got Instagram page, YouTube. It's almost like a vlogging experience, but he tells stories about himself and people he knows in the industry. Just interesting stories, right? And I've been tapping into all of his content. I follow him. I've been inspired by by his work well i'm down at the river market and i bump into him that's manifestation that's manifestation i bump into him we have a wonderful conversation man he's vlogging i was vlogging i had the opportunity to jump on his live which uh go check that out it's probably gonna drop a little later on the night um on another platform you know the platforms to go look at, all the platforms that everybody goes on. I don't want to speak about those platforms on this platform, but you know what platform to find it on. So I'm on his platform. I'm telling him, hey, listen, I'm Genuine Alchemist. This is what I do. This is what I've done. I'm talking about manifestation, lifestyle, travel, side hustles, and how to really hustle, not a fake hustle. I'm talking about when you're down to your last $25, you're throwing it at the wall. I don't care if you start a dog walking business, if you start a t-shirt business, if you uh, uh, janitorial, whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as you're throwing it at the wall and giving it all your last, then it's gonna, it's gonna happen. But anyway, I got the chance to talk about some of that on his channel and he jumped on mine. So we're gonna go to that, but that's the beauty of manifestation. This is overnight. I was just talking to my brother last night about all of this. I was supposed to actually shoot some work. We were gonna go uh, take a look at the Camaro be out of the shop. He just bought, uh, man, I forgot the car he just bought. We were gonna take a look at that. He just threw some nice sound system in his Monte Carlo as well. We were gonna touch on that, but we just had this conversation is what I'm trying to say. And today, boom, I bumped into Bill Bellamy. You know, he gave me some wonderful insight uh, we, 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 we shared a quick moment. Uh, we embraced as, you know, two black men in the vlogging space. He's in the celebrity space. He's got, you know, his catalog is out of this world. You know, you know, if you know, you know. Um, but that's just how it happens overnight. If you're in the right place at the right time, if you feel in the right way, if you're putting out the right vibes, if you're truly putting in the work, it's going to happen. And that's why I call myself a genuine alchemist, because I understand manifestation and I understand manifesting your reality to whatever you want it to be. So I say that to say this, I'm going to do a little bit more walking around. I got to find my wife. She took my son to the bathroom. He's over here somewhere running around. There's a million people out here. I'm fully vaccinated, y'all. So um, I'm going to get my mask on once I go around more people. But right now, I'm good money. So I'm going to tell you a story about how I manifested my first condo, and I might go into a little bit uh, more information on steps for you all to put something into play for yourself, whatever it is that you're dreaming about. I'm gonna talk a little bit about scripting, which is important. I'm gonna talk about scripting, and I'm gonna talk about detachment. Those are the two areas that I struggled with, you know, at, at first. Once I mastered those, I started making stuff happen overnight, you know, within 24 hours. So thank you all. I appreciate you tapping into the content in the channel. Definitely more to come soon.
I'm out here in Kansas Genuine City. Alchemist in the building. Okay, I appreciate that drop. Mm -hmm. Genuine Alchemist, you heard Bill. Mm -hmm. Check out all of his stories, they dope. We in Kansas City, Missouri right now. Kansas City. We on the River Market. River Market. We all the way tapped in. We about 6'5 or 4 or something. Okay. Boy, you would have been my two guard because I'd be playing point. You'd be the two, right? Okay, I'll be the, I oh, played the three. three. You played the three. I played the three because they would sleep on my you dribble. Play. <laughs> I played. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> you play we, big. Hey, look, we out here. I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to join the family Sunday fun day. I wanted to uh, uh, tap in with Bill, check yes, out my woman Tom. Make sure I you appreciate tag. the love. I will well, do. All right, man. Peace. I know that was great. That was great. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, we got these. We got the, these from these from over there. Hey, what type of, you got a shirt like daddy? Yeah. Well, Give me some. So I'm downtown KC Mo. And I wanted to tell y'all, I, I kind of started this earlier, but I wanted to finish up on it. I'm going to let you know how I manifested my lovely condo in the middle of the city back that way right so it all started i'm gonna tell you a brief story i'm gonna try to make it all make sense and tie into the whole premise of where i'm at right now with manifestation and alchemy and believing and trusting and feeling so i started off at community college i was living with my brother that i talked about my brother ryan I was living in an abandoned post office, okay? I was sleeping on the floor, literally, like, it was bad heating, bad cooling. People were getting broken into all across the, the, the post office. It was an upstairs, downstairs. So, I was asleep one night on my air mattress on the floor with the hole in it. And I had this envision, uh, I, had this, I had this vision about Kansas City. For some reason now coming up you know growing up as a kid we really didn't come to kansas city often uh we knew about it it was a place that i was familiar with but i hadn't really spent too much time there so i'm on the floor i'm asleep i'm in junior college i wake up in the middle of the night and i see myself in kansas city downtown overlooking a skyline and i'm in this building it's brick it's wood it's exposed ductwork, real loft feel, real loft vibe. I'm like, what am I doing here? And I wake up. So I keep this vision with me. Like, you know, it's something that I don't really talk about it much. It's, it's just something that kind of happened. It's in the back of my mind, right? So fast forward five, six years. I meet my wife at another college I went to. We end up moving to Kansas City. And we're looking for places to live in Kansas City, right? And I tell my wife, I said, I'm gonna live downtown in a loft overlooking the city. And she's like, man, you know, we've never been down there before. I, let's, let's get an apartment, you know, that type of deal. I'm like, nah, I wanna live in the city. I've got this vision. So I start thinking about it. I start, you know, going back to that mini dream, if you will, that I had. I'm starting to see it. I'm seeing the brick. I'm seeing the ductwork. I'm seeing the wood. I'm seeing it all. Like it's 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 clear. I set that intention. This is where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have 20 foot ceilings. I'm gonna have lighting. I'm gonna be able to see the city skyline from, you know, whatever area I'm at in my in my loft. And boom, what do you know? It starts happening. I meet a realtor, I meet a banker. My credit's through the roof. I've stumbled upon some good finances to have a down payment. And with that seed, we got a supercar over here. We got a big Mustang that just drove past us. You can't see it now, he, he went fast. But anyway, everything fell into place, right? Because I felt like it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. I didn't second guess it. I didn't, um, you know, not believe in it. So I continue to think about it. I aligned everything that the universe was giving me at the proper place to the proper time. Boom. I bought my loft in the middle of the city. 
after I bought my loft, the Royals won the World Championship, World Series. The city started to grow. We got a street car like you see in the back. We got a coffee shop on every corner, a Wi-Fi bar. And that's how it happened. So I've used that method. I've, I've, I've gone back into little things that I remember or stuff that comes at, at me in my sleep and I manifest with it. So I'm gonna...